So, what is routing needed for? In a global sense, it's defined which action to run for incoming URL. There are several ways to configure routes. We have already seen two. These are the attributes and annotations that define the road directly in the controller. But we can also configure roads in YML, XML and PHP files. Whichever configuration method you choose, they will do the same thing. It is recommended to use attributes to configure roads since they have a compact notation and it is also convenient when the road and the method the road calls are in the same place. Let's start from annotations. Before starting to use annotations, you need to install Doctrine in the Docker container inside PHP service. Use this command. But if you use PHP 7 or earlier version, first you need to install additional dependency using this command. I use PHP 8.1.0, uh, 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 so I don't need that dependency. I only need <coughs> to install Doctrine. I installed it before. So, let's define road in our first controller using annotations. As you can see, annotation road works. So, what's happened here? Let's take a look at the details. Here we define the road that called test. And when test road matches with request URL that sent user from browser, the application runs the hello world method of the my first controller class there is one feature you should know if url has some parameters in the query string it also will match with road i'll show an example And please keep in mind that each road name must be unique in the application. And one more thing that I need to tell about is multiply PHP classes in the same file. In such case, Symfony loads only roads from the first class, and it will ignore other roads. Oh, I forgot to add here the function return type okay i hope you enjoy this video 
and see you next time.